Welcome back to another episode of Dammit Bennett. I wish I knew that. I'm Dammit Bennett. And today we're talking about clipbot.tv. So clipbot takes your clips from your Twitch channel and automatically creates YouTube shorts and TikToks automatically. You could literally do nothing and it's gonna post these for you automatically depending upon the amount of time that you space out between each clip. There's been so much talk about how to grow your stream and even from Twitch executives, they talk about how important posting things on TikTok and YouTube shorts are to your growth as a creator. So today we're gonna go really deep into what ClipBot is and why you should be using it. So if you wanna know more, let's jump right in. Let's talk about clipbot.tv. And once you get on the site, you're gonna see all of the information that you need talking about what ClipBot is. You'll see reviews from other streamers, as well as uh, the features that come with ClipBot. There's a couple different versions of ClipBot. And if you're starting out on Twitch or you've been streaming for a while and you're under 2000 followers, this is absolutely free. Now the free version does include that watermark in the clips uh, as well as the hashtag, but for the free version, it's not a bad price to pay. I mean, it's free. Now what the free tier includes is the push button clipping, automatic YouTube shorts, automatic TikTok uploads, GG Easy vertical videos, crop once and crop forever, manual mode, best clip filtering, custom crops, you do need to include a clipbot.tv watermark in your clips, which will happen automatically. As well, you will need to include the clipbot.tv hashtag if you go with the free version. Now, if you have more than 2,000 followers on Twitch or you don't want the watermark in your clips and you don't want to use the hashtags in your post, you can go for the paid uh, premium service, which is about $9 a month. You can bill this either annually or monthly. If you switch to monthly, it does go up to about $15 a month, but it's everything from the free tier there's no follower limit no watermark in the videos no required hashtags the other really cool thing is you can suggest features that are going to get built into clipbot in their discord so let's download this bad boy and get started once you have downloaded and installed clipbot you're going to need to log into all of your accounts so you'll go ahead and click on the button once you've completed all of your logins let's go over to the settings tab now in the settings menu you'll see some drop down menus the first thing that you should do is set up a hotkey. Mine's currently shift plus F12, but I actually really don't use this too often. I'm either going to be using my stream deck or after my streams, I'll pull up the stream. I'll go through uh, the video um, and find the clippable moments. So I'll clip those out, rename those clips, and then let the bot do the rest of the work. Now, starting with clip defaults, you'll see that you can add your YouTube hashtags, uh, YouTube tags, and you can customize all of this to your liking. You can put it in as much or as little as you want. Obviously, this will help you know people find the videos on YouTube. Uh, so this is definitely an important piece of the puzzle. Now let's go to the upload settings. Once we get to upload, there's going to be an option for required views on Twitch. Now this basically just means this is only going to pull clips that have a certain number of views. I personally put this on zero. I want ClipBot to pull every single clip from my channel. I want to be able to approve and reject clips. The next thing that you have to select is the time between posts. I currently have mine set as 24 hours. So that's one post a day. The next three options under the upload settings include your default approve, which is going to upload any clip unless it has been rejected. And then you're going to turn on your TikTok uploads and YouTube uploads. Under the advanced settings tab, there's a clip age, and this is how old the clip must be be to get posted. If you want to stay in that safe zone, 24 hours is the right move. The other thing that I, I would also recommend in the upload settings is the YouTube auto game category. Basically, this is going to put the game that you're playing in parentheses after the title of your video on YouTube. Why this is important, it actually helps the algorithm find your video. Once you save those settings and you're able to make it back to the main section of the app, we're going to go ahead and jump in and tackle the auto crop now. Now we already have this selected, but, but as you can see, you can reframe this. Uh, you can, if you feel like you're in the right zone, you can move on to the next one. And then you just reposition in the center of your screen. Uh, and when you feel good about that, you hit done. And that is it. It is gonna auto crop that for every single clip moving forward. 
Now, if we go into the clips section of the application, this is gonna pull all of your clips from all time. Now, one of the other really cool features inside this clips manager is you can reset and do a specific custom crop for each clip. So if one day you did change your camera position and only on that clip, you can set a custom crop specifically just for this clip that won't affect your other auto crop settings. And also sort all of your Twitch clips by views, by date. You can select them if they've been approved by ClipBot before or rejected. And ClipBot does come with a tutorial, so it will walk you through step-by-step step of how to do everything, uh, which is really nice as well. You also notice that there's an approval button and a reject button, but you can approve and reject clips. Once you approve, you can move on to the next clip. Now it is important to note that all of the titles, hashtags, all of that information in here that can be streamlined and automatically posted, that is specifically for YouTube. We'll get into the TikTok part in a second. And that's really it for the application itself. So let's jump into the other side of things. So once you go into TikTok, you're gonna be on your phone. And what we're gonna look for is something that says TikTok platform, your video from ClipBot is ready. And obviously you can see all of the ClipBot uploads here. And, and we're just gonna basically select the newest one that's available. Once you select this, it's gonna bring you to the normal TikTok upload screen. If you're uploading any sort of content on TikTok, you'll be familiar with this. Uh, you can add music, you can add sound, you can add, add other things to the video if you want, or you can just leave it as is and upload it. Obviously, you'll need to put a title here, maybe some hashtags as well. And then you just hit post, just like you normally would with any other TikTok content. Now, obviously, it's, it's not as streamlined as the YouTube Shorts where it posts automatically. This is uh, something on the TikTok side and not the ClipBot side that allows it to do that. So uh, right now there is a little bit of a limitation with this. But with that being said, it is something that makes this process a whole lot easier to automatically upload those TikToks. Uh, all you really need to do is title it and then hit send. Now, something that you can do as well with this is that you can then add and download these videos and post them elsewhere as well. Um, obviously, that's a that's a really big important part of growing as a content creator is placing your content on other platforms where people can see them, view them, and maybe they like what they saw and they're gonna come over and watch your live stream. Let's take a look at the analytics real quick here from YouTube. And over the last year, you can see I wasn't doing a whole lot uh, when it comes to YouTube content, but once I started using ClipBot and posting these shorts, obviously it started to skyrocket with a total of 119,000 views over the last year. And that wasn't even for the full year. That only started in May. And this is why ClipBot is such a great program to use to help grow your channel. Thanks for watching another episode of Dammit Bennett. I wish I knew that. I'm Dammit Bennett, and I will see you right back here on the Full Sail Armada channel.